Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Um, today I'm taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Legend. This is a prepaid phone on the Verizon Wireless Network. This is a 3G device. This phone was uh, lent to me to do this review and I'm glad to be able to do this review tonight and give you some of the specs and the rundown of the phone and what I think about it and some issues that it has had uh, during its time of usage. Um, it does run Android 4.1.2. It does have a 4 inch display at 800 by 480 pixels at 233 ppi. It does have a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus. It lacks a flash and the maximum uh, camcorder resolution is uh, 640 by 480 VGA at 30 frames per second and it has a 1.3 megapixel camera in the front it has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core crate Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor with one, with one gigabyte of RAM with 4 gigs of built-in storage and 1.5 gigs of maximum user storage but it has expendable memory that will hold up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. It does have a 2100 milliamp hour battery with an estimated 17 hours of talk time and 9 hours of standby time. That's kind of questionable, but that's what it says. This is a very close phone to the Galaxy Stellar. Uh, I think it is the same phone. It's just the, the Stellar is a 4G device. This is th this is a 3G device. Uh, as most of y'all know, uh, Verizon does not have any 4G devices on their prepaid uh, prepaid uh, plans and phones yet. For some reason, while every other carrier allows 4G LTE on their phones, whether it be contract or prepaid, Verizon still only has 3G on their prepaid phones. So they need to speed up and you know have 4G LTE on their prepaid phones. Um, but maybe they'll get there soon. Uh, this phone is not bad. Uh, it, it is a nice looking phone. A typical Galaxy type phone. You know, it looks about like a, a typical Samsung Galaxy phone. You know, you get your front facing camera, you know, your 4 inch display, your back home recess button, and your menu button, micro USB charging port here on the bottom right there on the side your volume rocker and your micro SD card slot 3.5 millimeter headset jack on top and your power button on the side and of course your camera and your speaker phone's pretty slick uh, it's fingerprint prone as you can see and it's it's very plasticky and it's very slick and if you ain't careful you'll drop the thing We'll go ahead right now while I'm at it. Uh, the screen does look good. It is very bright, as you can tell. Um, has no problem seeing it. Uh, it's very crisp, very clear, which a lot of Samsung phones are. Um, you know, screen quality is good. But while we're here, we'll go ahead and run a little test on the thing. And we'll see what she's running. Phone's not currently activated, so but the speed test um, in good 3G Verizon coverage area, you can most time manage between one and a half to maybe two and a half megabits per second download, and about one to one and a quarter upload. Uh, down here, where it's a little bit less coverage, usually about 1.5 megabits download and about a half a megabit upload. So you know kind of you know slow speeds but it's not that bad it is usable if you need to use data so but of course 4G LTE is a whole lot faster than 3G ever thought about being but you know for something that's 3G you know it does okay you know, for the just the average browsing or Facebook or Instagram playing or just whatever you're whatever you're interested in so wait for this phone to finish up on the uh, benchmark test here
<laughs> we gotta do it all over again. Some pros to this phone is it has very good call quality, um, very good sound quality, very loud ringers. Um, you'll have no problem hearing the ringers on this phone. Uh, it's loud, like I said, call quality is good, outbound and inbound. Um, you know, camera the camera does work pretty well if you're in a good lit area uh, with autofocus and everything. Video quality at 480 is mm, it's not the greatest, uh, but you know if you just want to go, you know, take a video here or there, you know, what do you expect from a phone like this? Uh, this phone right here right now runs around between 80 and 90 bucks on the Verizon Wireless website. They're around $130 in stores from what I've seen. And to be honest with you, you can buy the Motorola Moto G right now for about 100 bucks, And that's a whole lot better phone than this phone ever thought about being. I did do a review on the LG Optimus Exceed, which to me does exceed this phone in quality. Um, about the same price as this phone. But the Moto G... Is an awesome is, is an awesome phone. I then had one. This is right now is coming in at three thousand sixty eight, uh, so about a hundred less than it was running a while ago. Uh, but that's still not bad uh, for a one point two gigahertz dual core processor. I was expecting around four thousand, maybe a little bit higher, but three thousand, you know, is not too bad considering, you know what it is you know this phone is not very fast you can kind of scroll until it does have a, some lag to it uh, it's not a fast phone by no means it's not a very smooth phone uh, it does have some hiccups it does have some lag uh, it does fr you can as you can tell when I'm scrolling it does just have a have a noticeable lag to it and personally you know it's nothing spectacular you know it is kind of a you know it, it is a very entry-level phone and it's nothing to brag about like I said you know their store selling this thing for about hundred and twenty nine dollars and you can actually get the Motorola Moto G right now for around a hundred bucks at a lot of places and if I had to pick this phone over the Moto G it would be no contest because the Moto G is five times the phone this phone ever thought about being um, but, you know, it's anybody, it's whatever anybody likes, you know, everything that I review and what I say and what I look at and, and, and stuff is my personal opinion on what I think of the phone. Every phone ain't the same. You can get a bad phone, a good phone and anything. Uh, so, you know, I don't like to knock phones. I don't like to always downplay anything. But, you know, when it comes down to this phone right here, it does have some freezing issues. It has had some lagging issues. Battery life is not that great. And, you know, it's just a very entry-level kind of bottom-of-the-barrel phone on the Verizon network. So, you know, with the uh, LG Optimus Exceed and the Moto G, and actually even now you can get the um, iPhone the iPhone 4, the certified pre-owned on the Verizon website for around a hundred bucks, I think. Now, don't quote me on that. Uh, I could be, I could be wrong, but last time I checked, it was about a hundred dollars. So, you're looking at an iPhone, and so you know, I mean, you know, there is several, there is several options out there for around the same price of the Galaxy Legend, but the Galaxy Legend just, just really does not cut it as far as a really good phone. Um, some of the pros of this phone, though, is it does have a very nice screen. Um, the phone does look good. If it's a good-looking phone, um, kind of glossy-looking and everything. Um, call quality is good, inbound, outbound. Uh, picture quality is decent, especially if you're in a bright environment. It, it, it does take fairly good pictures. You know, battery life is okay. You know, it, it's kind of a good and a bad thing. There's times that, of course, with heavy usage, a lot of batteries don't last very long but about a day you can get through with this phone um, so I can't really say this phone's terrible but I can't also say it's good it's just a it's just a fairly decent entry-level phone it's got some noticeable lag 
and some issues. Nothing too serious, but you know, if you want something that's gonna, of course, be you know, which there's really I've never seen an Android phone that's completely lag free, ever. But um, you know, this one right here has got a lot of lag and a lot of and, and it does it does freeze quite a bit. So uh, anyway, this has just been my opinion here and my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Legend. Um, got any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, this has been a look at the Samsung Galaxy Legend, the prepaid phone on Verizon Wireless. Uh, Y'all have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.